so we are finally done with the band. Woo! Okay. Yeah. Anyways, um, so we're gonna be doing our band tour video, and um, we realized we didn't really give an introduction. So um, Abraham had this idea about the van and at first I wasn't okay with it but then I finally gave it a chance and it was a fun project overall and now I love it and so pretty much Abraham had this idea that we could fix up this van and then travel with it and hopefully that's what we'll be doing all right so we have this we have a uh, 1999 Dodge Ram van um, with a 5.9 liter uh, two-wheel drive Right here we have Destination LE2s that we just bought and put on the, the um, onto the van. And this is Linda. You gotta move, bro. But um, okay. It's not perfect, but it's got some dents and nicks. It adds character. Yeah, it adds character. Um, up here we have our uh, solar hot water heater. I don't have any water in it right now because it weighs about. 100 pounds 70 to 100 pounds so and it actually makes the whole van lean to the side and um but it's made out of 10 foot long the complete 10 foot long pvc four inch pipe uh water pipe and then uh yeah uh it's got a little uh straighter valve to put air in it to pressurize the tank and that's a fa the the end where the faucet goes you put a regular hose right up to it. This we have Those the, the um, oh yes, and we have four 100 watt solar panels up here from New Power, it's kind of a weird name. And then we have it in series and then in parallel, which is we have it running off of 24 volts, um, coming down into here, and then it's um, running at 12 volts after um, the solar power controller. This right here, we have a uh, 5,000 BTU, just regular in-house AC unit. Kind of, it's not the prettiest job, but it, it does it. And then I have a uh, uh, a spare wheel mounted up here. I had to go to the junkyard and go get this and repaint it because somebody, the people I bought it from, cut the spare tire underneath completely off. So I, there's no attachment underneath. Here we got the, uh, I put the ladder on the side because I have up here. So we can put storage up here on top of here. We got a little bit of an area. And then right here we have a uh, canopy, a side canopy for the van. So that way we can keep uh, some of the sun off if we go anywhere out in the sun. Okay, now we're going inside. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the um, where the batteries and stuff are, for the solar uh, solar power. So we open this door. I have to get a screwdriver. I mean, a impact driver. I made this so it's in completely enclosed and that uh, because the batteries do vent out hydrogen and whatnot and so I didn't want everything to be uh, all the fumes and stuff like that coming up and hitting us. So I have, this is where the AC plug is. I have it just hooked up to the house right now. But we hook it up, I made a plug right here so we can plug it right, right there or I can take it off and then right here is a little breaker uh, I learned that that I should put this out here and not in here because I'd have to unscrew it every time it wanted to trip and then over here all right so what we have here is a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter it actually helps the you know not give surge and break uh, like laptops and stuff like that and make them not work anymore. It's a, a lot better of a inverter than some of the other ones out in the market right now. Uh, 
and then I have a MPT solar charge controller and uh, the little the little controller is way over there on the wall <laughs> and I have four six volt Duracell bat golf cart batteries and they all add up to 415 amp hours of battery life and I have this cord right here that I had got it one of these cords and made it where it goes right into the house wire and then goes straight to the walls to our outlets in the walls anyways um, and then I made a switch that goes from over here way over here to here so I can turn it on and off because I, it's kind of a pain in the butt to try and get underneath here and unscrew all the screws on this board here just to get the uh, get access to it to turn it on and off but I had to make this or I had enclosed it completely because the batteries let off fumes and I didn't want it to uh, get into the cabin and I want so I did what I did was I drilled these big holes right here right here and here to help vent out the gases just out to the outside and then I got some uh, aluminum mesh here and then I actually got uh, mosquito mesh here for like windows and stuff and it, uh, I, I doubled that up so that way uh, no bugs would get in here and nothing would fall out and fall into here because I've got extra supplies over there so now that Abraham explained the stuff that I couldn't, I'm going to show you the inside of the van. So first I just want to point out this nice little table that we can cook on outside if we need to. Or we can, you know, just have it open onto the canopy with our chairs. It's a little tall, but we made it so that way we can have it used in the inside of the, the van also. Yes. All right. So. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what we have in all our, our little compartments. Um, but first let me show you. This is where we sit when we drive. This chair swivels. We've got our cooler, thanks to my dad. And then we have a fan that runs off a battery, just in case. Um, and then we have my plant. <laughs> so first, this is where we keep our toiletries. Here's our towels. Um, you know, like the bathroom stuff, toothbrushes, soap, mouthwash, all that good stuff. And the toilet paper. And since we're over here, here is our vent fan. We can open it up. If it's humid in here or anything. And just turn it on. Alright, the next compartment. Here's what, another AC vent that we have. This is where we keep our food. It can stay up if we need it to. But I'm just going to put it down. And then in this one, we have our plates and cups and everything. And then we have our first aid kit and our dish drying towel with wipes and other extra etc things behind my head we have a picnic blanket some books some movies and another blanket and then under the bed is where we will keep our clothes i've already packed my clothes abraham still needs to pack his clothes and dish soap, hand sanitizer, my camera for the wall behind you. So we've been to all of these places together 
and now uh, oh this thing right here so clearly you guys can see that we have electricity because we have the lights on and an AC I'm gonna dim the lights real quick so you can see and then next to our solar panel meter that tells us how much energy we have is our DVD player. Look at how nice that is. Hold on, I need to show them our view when we lay down. So I'm just gonna lay down right here. And we got this nice, oh, let me turn the light off. We've got this nice view. And we are right next to the AC. It is so nice. There you go. Oh, I forgot to point out. So now that we have shown you what's in all of our little drawers here, I'm going to show you what's in these drawers. And here we have our silverware, cooking utensils, and Abraham uh, added a magnet so when we drive they don't pop out as we're driving. And we have our pots and pans. And under here we have the cleaning supplies, our water supply, and our trash can, and this bowl that I couldn't fit up there, so it fits perfectly down here. I also have a sponge holder in the sink, and a sink thing stopper. Um, and here's our stove. We can plug it in here, but right now I have the air thing. But we can plug it in. We also have a light. And here's our cutting board mounted next to the knives. And um, here's our table again, just in case you wanted to see what it looks like inside the van. But underneath here, if I can get help putting this down. Okay. All right. Under here, we have our speakers. There's also one on the other side over here. It's on the bottom. And then we also have my mirror right here for when I want to do my makeup or, you know, just look at myself in the morning. Um, and then behind the mirror are these mats that have insulation inside. And then my grandma, shout out to my grandma. Thank you, Granny. they just kind of stick so that's nice okay guys so that was our van I hope you liked it um, we are taking it out literally in like four or five days can't keep track it's going by so fast can you guess where we're going <laughs> we're going to Arizona Maybe a couple of places on the way because we are driving. Thank you. I thought it was kind of funny. That's why I bought it. But uh, anyways, um, we will keep you posted. If you like our van, like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to us, you should subscribe. That's such a mouthful. Um, thanks for watching. Thank you to all our subscribers. And yeah. Bye, guys.